inspired. Mm -hmm. And there's so much in Seattle that inspires that me. Too. Absolutely. My peers. Yeah, like, if I had to list biggest influences, it'd mostly be Seattle fans. <laughs> yeah. And you'd, that's, yeah. There's not time to listen to anything else. Right. I am obsessed with Dusty. Can oh, you yeah. put that in? Yeah. I know it all a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. And I love Monster Watch, Spirit Awards, Sloucher, of course, Whitney Ballin, Cumulus, like, Temple Canyon. It could go on forever, and I'm it sure really it leaves people so out. Yeah, once and you start, like, you so gotta, much. Yeah. I'm not even ass-kissing. Like, I love these bands, yeah. and what they make is so fucking good. And it's cool to have them as your peers, because then you can... The inspiration's right there, and you're hoping maybe you're inspiring others, too. But yeah. it's just such a cool scene to be part of. I agree, 100%. Yeah. Um, and you guys are on the verge of releasing your first record since 2017. Uh, the Odds Were All Beating Me. And that's set to come out uh, January 10th, 2019. <laughs> yeah. And yep. your release show is at? Chop Suey. Chop Suey release yeah. show. Check it out, guys. It's but how... Tape. How excited are you guys? <laughs> How excited are you guys for this release? It's been a minute. Oh Dude, my gosh, so I'm so excited. excited. Yeah. yeah. It's wow. been a long time coming. Yeah. We There's a lot of songs that are years old yeah. now that are on there. Yeah. yeah. I've released and, some music before and like put it online, but now I'm messaging and like texting certain people be like, listen to this. This I'm yeah. This That's how important. proud you are. Yeah, You're this like, this is, is something that I'm yeah. proud of. I want people to listen to it and, and feel the same way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is how I want you to know me as the guy yeah. who's in these songs in this band. Yeah. Yeah. Like, last night, I was talking to a, one of the guys in Salt Lake. I think his name's Ian. He was so nice, and he was really complimenting me or making me feel great because he was just saying he loved Lullabies, but... I was like, I love that you're saying that. And it's it's so difficult, though, when you are you have something new and you feel so like, that was the past, and now we have more. Yeah. And we have, we have so many songs that aren't on that record that we're going to be putting out, and there's just more and more. There's always more, so... Yeah, so you'll be so. moving forward. Once this record's out, you still you have material ready to go. We're ready for our full length. Yeah, yeah we already got two songs. Yeah. What are we planning on, like, May? March. March? Yeah. yeah. For the full length? Yeah. yeah. Wow, you guys are going to be working hard. We've yeah. already got two two that we recorded. Because mm -hmm. we wanted to get some started before this came out. Yeah. With what's happening next. So we went back and recorded uh, two of our newer songs already. So mm -hmm. That's smart. I think that's, that's the way, the way to, to go is try and like, before the next thing comes out, already be like trying to uh, get started on yeah. the next thing, I guess. That's really yeah. smart. And I feel like, yeah, it's... It's yeah. hard financially. It's hard time wise. A lot of time, people once you get that record out, it's like, all right, gotta let's recoup. Let's recoup everything, and then we can do another one. But if you can and you can keep that momentum going, EP, LP, like that's I think a great way to just get your name spread far and wide. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. more you can, the more stuff you put out, uh, the more yeah. more consistently. I feel like yeah. Yeah.
what do you guys uh, think was really different about making this record as compared to Lola Blaze? How was that? Um, with Lola Blaze, I was playing with... Actually, originally I was playing with Kyle and my friend Evan Captain on bass. And it was essentially, here's some songs I wrote. Can you guys learn the parts real quick? And believe it or not, with our first few practices, Austin would come and he'd be like reading a book at practice because he wasn't in the band but he would play and jam with Kyle afterwards. And uh, long story short, it was not very collaborative. Um, and now this, everything that's on this new record is extremely collaborative. Uh, we worked really hard on the parts, making like intricate parts that work together. And it was just um, a had, joy for me because I'd, I'd never done anything like that. We had more say in the production too, a yeah. lot more say. Yeah, yeah, working with Rick. I love is so and we just learned so much from <clears throat> Bola Blaze recording that and getting that one out and taking mm-hmm. all that stuff that we learned and being able to apply it to this next album was a really cool experience. Yeah, yeah absolutely.